these beech trees are gorgeous in the autumn. Gorgeous beech trees in the autumn. I love them. And here are the boys. Hey boys. How are you boys? Good boys. So these are the rams. All except the mature one. They're expecting their supper. Talking about beech trees, this is one of our magnificent young beech trees planted in my lifetime. And I am planting more. And due to wonderful donations, I'll be able to plant more along that fence line right there. There's a gap in there of where chestnut trees have come down and that great oak tree came down. And people have donated lovely, lovely money. And I am naming beech trees by those who have done lovely donations of a thousand and five hundred uh, euros. I'll show you where I'm planning to plant them and uh, what the other young trees are planted, I've planted, look like now. So beech trees, wonderful, magnificent beings. The boys are anticipating their supper. Look at this. Those are the rose hips. Here's a holly tree. Not many berries on the holly tree. This is what's happening over here. What are you guys all on about? They're all fighting over a stick. So, more holly, and then here's a beech tree. This beech tree was planted, it could be 30 or 40 years ago at this stage. This was planted by my brother. And I'm gonna plant more beech trees along the road. And the boys want their supper. Isn't that right, boys? Yeah. Okay, boys. Get back. Come on. Good boys. There we go. They've got their supper. Happy boys. Munching their supper. So this tree is a lime tree. They have this kind of nesty growth in the middle. This big yellow tree, that's a larch. There's a larch. That tree there is a horse chestnut. Across the way, that's an ash tree. And you can see some baby beech trees right here. There you can see that's the line of horse chestnuts that used to go all the way along the road. There's a baby beech tree. They used to go all the way along the road, planted by my great, 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 great grandfather, I think. So here you can see the larch trees, the lime tree. Up there, there's, those are fruit trees, plums. Then over here are beech trees. Behind that, you can't see them. And a horse chestnut. That's the line of beech trees with some ash in it and my brother's beech tree. So from this line of horse chestnuts, they've been dying and falling down. So we've been replacing them with these beech trees. Now, there's a beech tree missing here and I would probably plant two, one there and one there. And here you can see our two beech trees 
These were planted about 15 years ago. So these are 15 year old beech trees. You can see here and here. Behind this uh, beech tree, right there, that dead stick is a holly that died. You can see there's that holly. And you can see the line of horse chestnut trees continue on down here. Now I gotta go through this. So gate. along here are these magnificent old horse chestnuts. And this is the huge oak that fell, blew over and fell during a storm. Right here, this is a plains tree or sycamore. You can see that's a big old sycamore. This is the next gap I want to fill, is I want to be able to put six chestnut uh, beech trees along this gap. Because now that this beautiful, magnificent oak fell, a lot of light can get in here. So I would probably put about six beech trees in there. You can see this is a branch of a beech, of a horse chestnut. You can see this horse chestnut, there's the branch fell from right there. So all the rest of these horse chestnuts that you can see going along the line are slowly dying and crumbling because of their age. There's the great oak tree over there. There's a willow and a lime tree. So this section here, I'm going to plant and name beech trees. So Marge and Steve and his wife have a tree. And then I will do some more trees and I'm going to get a little, um, somebody to cut out a metal thing uh, with, to name the trees. So they'll always be known as Marge's tree or Stephen and Maggie's tree or whatever. So there's a tree there and then there will be one, two, three, four, five along this section. And then there's more along there. We'll continue on. Because as these horse chestnuts die and fall, we need to put up trees that will not die of diseases. Like there's the ash dieback. There's the disease that is affecting the horse chestnuts, which is really, really sad. And that there's another disease affecting uh, cherry trees, etc. So slowly replacing the trees along the road with um, beech trees instead of horse chestnuts.